Unfortunately, in 30% uh, of patients with large visual lymphoma who receive uh, third line, uh, yes, CARTA, uh, do achieve only a partial response 30 days after CAR T cell infusion. And we know that 70% of them will eventually progress. Um, despite that, the standard approach is to observe those patients. And there's not really currently a standard consolidation strategy that we can use for them. Uh, we have tried to understand if there's any uh, laboratory or clinical characteristics that may uh, guide the treating physician in trying to understand who are those patients who are more likely when in PR at day 30 to subsequently progress. We have looked into multiple laboratory and radiological features, and the only factor that did associate with a higher risk of subsequent progression was SUV maximum on day 30 PET CT scan. What we saw in this uh, very large single center retrospective study is that SUV maximum uh, at day 30, among patients who are in PR, if higher than 10, was clearly associated with a higher risk of progression. Pretty much every single patient with an SUV maximum or 10 or higher experiencing subsequently progression. Uh, this is very relevant because again, the standard approach currently is to just observe those patients. But based on these data, it's very clear if the SUV is very high on day 30, we should probably consider to do either off-label consolidation approaches or to consider those patients for clinical trials offering consolidation strategies. When it comes to consolidation options, uh, there are really only four agents approved by the FDA available, uh, an XP1 inhibitor, uh, two anti-CD19 targeting agents, and uh, an anti-CD79B. Uh, we are developing at MD Anderson an investigator initiated trial where we're trying to use long cat T and anti-CD19 antibody drug conjugate, trying to consolidate patients who uh, achieve only APR on day 30. Uh, one additional thing is that um, thanks to studies like this, but also prospective studies, we will learn more about the biology of those patients. Today is not a standard approach to perform a tissue biopsy in patients who are in PR at day 30. So we don't need to know much about the biology of the clone or the tumor microenvironment in these patients. We don't know what's the rate of CD19 expression on day 30. We don't know what's the rate of CD79B expression. So studies like this will inform more future uh, consolidation uh, strategies, both within clinical trials or in standard practice.